Hi there, I'm Bonnie McCaffrey, and thanks for coming back for another vidcast. I'm here at my favorite quilt show in Houston, and it is again another spectacular year. Now you're going to see one of the most amazing, interesting things here is this yurt that has been done out of quilts. This is actually the second yurt that I've made. There's another one back in Scotland which is twice the size. Oh my gosh. Made of quilts? Yes, of course. Of course. Yes, of course. That's just one thing here. Let me take you on a tour and we'll see a lot of other quilts. All right, I found my good friend Karen K. Buckley here with her gorgeous quilt. Although she's a partner, she's done this with another friend of mine, Renee Haddadin. So, Karen, tell me about your spectacular quilt. Well, I did the applique, and it took me approximately a year to do it. And I was very strongly influenced by trips that my husband Joe and I had taken to Mexico. And I collected a little bit of pottery, not any big pieces, but little pieces. Yeah. And I started just sort of sketching little ideas from the shapes that were on the pottery. Yeah. So that's where it all got started. And then after I had finished this, Renee and I had crossed paths at a Bernina function years ago. Yeah. And then we connected at a few other shows over the years, had dinner together, and she planted the seed. She said, you know, Karen, we should maybe work on a quilt together. And what a team. Well, I have found one of my favorite people. This is Gail Thomas. And Gail, again, you have a ribbon, and it's gorgeous. I love your quilt. Could you tell us about it? This quilt started when Sharon Chamber and I met in Fortuna, California. We were both teaching there, and the, just the whole time we were there, it was an amazing trip. When I got home, I started this drawing. And I just, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because my drawing changed after that, so I put it away. Sharon phones me two weeks later and says, I've had this dream about this six-pointed star and these fairies around the outside. I said, really? And so I sent her the picture. She said, yeah, just like that. She said, what are you going to do with it? I said, what's well, going to be my next quilt? I had a phone call from Sharon asking if we could do the quilt together. Wow. Big decision, of course. And uh, then... <laughs> yeah. Duh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so then we started it and then it just carried on from there so that's how it all began wow Well, Sheila, you have another spectacular quilt. Tell me about this one. Thank you. Um, Fantasyland is uh, all pieced improvisationally, intuitively, which is how I work. Um, these are all my hand-dyed fabrics. And at the time when I worked on the piece, I was going through a challenging situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, none uh, of us have those. <laughs> and it became an escape for me. It became uh, every day when I walked into my studio and it was there waiting for me. Kind of like therapy. Felt, it was therapy. It was, yeah. it, was a, it was like an amusement park. It just took me away. Yeah. So it was really easy when it came time to name it. So um, what'd you name it? Fantasyland. Fantasyland. Yeah, it's Fantasyland, so. Yeah.
about your quilt. Thank you very much. Um, we were traveling on Kenya and Tanzania and we met the Maasai people and we saw how they live yeah. in, in, in the country and also and I did my inspiration, That's your inspiration? on holiday uh -huh. and I come home and I do this is I do and I draw and I think and also it's beautiful tell me is it is that a sun it is the sun and the sun is uh, made from silk metallic threads um, angelina fibers and the angelina fibers i did it now on the fabric of the of the sun that's beautiful thank that's you that's beautiful thank you now i'm curious what would inspire you to do a yellow sky yes the color the color? The color, it is very hot there. Yeah. Okay. It's very dry and, and the colors and, and also it is all, uh, yes, dry. It's there's just nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing. It's stunning. Your quilt Hi. is spectacular. Thank Tell me you about so it. Much. Well, what I do is pictorial piecing. It's all pieced, right wow. sides together in the old fashioned way, quarter inch seams. Yes. And what I particularly like doing is using commercial prints, oh, you know, yeah. and finding just the right print to do the job that I want. Right. I see the grass is the grass. The grass and the is printed, and, and then the quilting accentuates it. Perfect. Yannicka, here is another of your quilts, and it's just stunning. Could you tell us about it? Yes, thank you. Uh, it is about a mite on Crete. It is the Minoan culture. And uh, there is a mother goddess that is this. And she is the queen of all goddesses. Oh, okay. And she, protect by, she is protected by a raven and snakes. They protect... The mother go then for all the spies. Here, the eyes, yeah, the eyes in the quilts are the enemies, and she was threatened by spies and other goddesses. The other goddess also here in the quilt. The mother goddess protect the Minon people culture, animals, and especially the the children oh. of the culture. Right, right. Pauline, I love your quilt, and that looks just like your babies. Well, actually, it's my friend's babies, but you've seen one wine, you've seen them all. You know, I don't know why I'm so... Oh, they're troublemakers. <laughs> they're sweethearts. I met hers. I met yours. They're great. They're well-behaved, but they're they troublemakers. Are. Oh, well. I mean, so, I have a nine-year-old who still tears up toilet paper. Thing. There are stories on there about the fun they have. Okay, tell me some of the stories of the fun that they're having here. Well, let's see. One of them likes to chew up the crotches to the underpants. <gasps> and, of course, it's not their fault. Somebody else did it. Ooh. One of them likes to, um, you, you don't want to leave meat on the kitchen counter Never. in a package because they want you to know that they're carnivores, not vegetarians, and that, but you should remove the plastic because it would be less mess for you to clean up later. And I wanted to tell stories on the quilt about it, but I didn't want them to just jump out and hit you. So that uh -huh. was the way to tell stories. You had to go search for it. And I have to search for stories, but you got to search to read them. I love it.
Janet, I love your quilt. This is so much fun. Could you tell me about it? Thank you. You're so nice. Uh, this is called Mutton But Letters, and I am a sheep collector because I used to spin, so I actually have a lot of sheep, everything, but real ones. Um, I bought a set, uh, I bought a, a stack of uh, these brightly colored batiks, I think actually a couple of years um, ago in Houston, and I had them sitting at work to show off, and I passed by them one day and I thought, you know, those would make really good sheep, those brightly colored batiks. Isn't that what everyone thinks? But it wouldn't be the first thought I had. Well, it's the first thought I had. Of so course. that's what happened. <laughs> that's because you collect sheep? That's right. I have been known for using gold lame for a while and originally it was slightly a rebellion to use such a fabric in the quilt world but really I just love the texture when it's quilted yeah. and I just always wondered what would happen if I did a gold lame whole cloth yeah. so I made one small one and, uh, and then it sort of snowballed and I started to work my way through the periodic table. Oh my gosh, so how many have you made? I've now made 13. Love, love, love your quilt. Thank I mean, you. the quilting in it is spectacular. Thank you. Thank so you. tell me about it. Um, Wonderlust was originally a doodle that I drew out and graphed out and then enlarged on paper. And so what's that design there? Oh, my husband was away hunting and I was missing him, so I made a lot of little antlers. Hey, Sherry, tell us about this spectacular quilt. Thank you, first of all. Um, it's called America Let It Shine. It started with this. I draft all my quilts on graph paper. It's two scale, so this is a quarter inch here equals an inch up here. The Gettysburg Address is quilted around the bars, except for instead of four score and seven years ago, I said 235 years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent. I quilted the preamble to the Constitution here. We the people of the United States establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote general welfare, and secure blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. The declaration goes around the bottom of the circle. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I made a ring of 50 stars to represent the 50 states. I drafted 13 points here on each one of those. Those represent the 13 original colonies. And my whole thing about the quilt was a mariner's compass in the center. It's a guiding light to guide America to a brighter future. I embellished it with 5,121 crystals. Oh and my gosh. <laughs> 4,543 stand for the words of the original Constitution, 312 for the Star Spangled Banner, 31 for the Pledge of Allegiance, and 235 for the age of the country. And I didn't plan that part, but when I was figuring out how many crystals I would need for the quilt, I was over 4,000, and from the homework with my kids, I remembered that the original Constitution had 4,000-something words, so I looked it up, and I was over that number, and I thought, well, the Star Spangled Banner is important, so I added it, and it got to where I was wow. up to 5,100. Now, I know that everybody is wondering this question. Ten months. How much? <laughs> no, here's no. my question. Okay. How much did all of those crystals cost you? They <laughs> They're about $360, $380 on what? it. So. Spectacular. I and wanted I love... America to shine. Absolutely. And you are a patriot. I am. I am. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you.